Uh, this is a little update to my uh, SBUS decoder thing, which you'll, you'll find the details in another, uh, <coughs> excuse me, another um, YouTube video here. This is just a small update because Carl Hines asked about uh, displaying PPM rather than um, SBUS values. So if we switch on the transmitter and we start getting a signal. There we go. Um, so now if I move the, the first channel you can see it goes from about a thousand up to about two thousand which is a normal sort of PPM uh, range and uh, that's channel 2 the same and so on same as before now I've also made it so that at the top there you see in brackets it's saying ppm microseconds if we press this little button here it'll change and now it's showing percentages so if I again I'll move the throttle stick uh, sorry the aileron and the first channel is going from minus 100% to plus a hundred percent and press the button again and uh, now we're in the normal SBUS values which is what it's actually receiving so it's just scaling those SBUS values which with this particular orange receiver go from 150 minimum up to 1901 maximum to give either uh, PPM or percentages. Now, uh, if you, you don't have to put the button if you don't want to, you can just default it. You can see if I if I restart this, if I press the reset button on the Arduino, I've got this one defaulting to PPM microseconds. So if that's all you wanted, there's no need for the button. Uh, if you want to wire the button, you can change it in the sketch anyway. But there's the um, the sort of schematic. Uh, sorry about the shadows. You can probably freeze frame that if you want to uh, uh, build one. But you need uh, this. I'm using a, a, a FET here to invert the signal. You could use a transistor, use an NPN transistor if you want in place of this uh, FET. I'm using a 2N7000 and there it is on the board it just looks like a transistor but it's actually a little MOSFET can you see that little three-legged thing um, the the MOSFET's got the advantage of not needing any resistors it works with, without any but if you used a MPN transistor you just have to put a a resistor in the base and maybe a pull-up resistor on the uh, collector uh, button just a momentary contact I've got it on pin 8 you can alter that in the sketch and I'll show you the sketch on the screen here um, so up near the top of the sketch uh, you see there it says uh, line 15 define mode button 8 you could change that to something else if you don't want it to be on 8 and you can see there the line 11 there's three possible display modes at the moment <clears throat> which I've called 11 bit microseconds and percentages and line 12 is defaulting it to microseconds at the moment so you could just edit the sketch if you <coughs> if you want to default to percentages and don't want to switch uh, that's about it I'll put the link to the uh, to the code in the um, in the description and I've just I think the previous one I uploaded was called SBUS Decode 3 so I've called this one SBUS Decode 4. Okay that's about it. You refer back to the other um, video for more details. I'll, I'll put that in I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching.